We're back covering the third update of Fortnite Season 7, and the official live event countdown timer has been leaked on top of the Gravitron, New B Grenade, Kevin the Cube leaks, and more. So let's jump into it. Make sure to subscribe to help us reach 5 million guys. We would really appreciate it. So yeah, this update has been crazy, and it's added so many weapons, items, and more. But for a map change you can visit right now on the island, head on over to Coral Castle. You'll actually be able to find a brand new Chimera NPC that has a ton of different options. You could duel him for some blue loot, but also hire him to fight by yourself. It took us a while to find this guy because he just doesn't spawn half the time, so make sure to not give up if you want to talk to him. And we have a new skin hitting the item shop tonight. When the shop resets, we greeted with a brand new icon series skin belonging to Booga himself. He has a sick back bling, his own icon series emote, and he'll even get his own tournament. It's going to be called Booga's Late Game, and you'll be able to win up to $100,000. Crazy, right? But a feature that all of us has been begging for is now finally in game, and you're not going to want to sleep on this one. Heading to four Fortnite game settings right now and you'll be able to find a brand new feature called preferred item slots. Finally, after years of asking, we're actually going to be able to organize our inventories based on the type of weapon. So basically no more standing in the open just to move your shotgun into a different slot. The game will do it for you. I mean, I never even thought about a feature like that and now it's out, so I don't think I'll be able to live without it. And this slot feature is going to be especially useful when a brand new season seven weapon comes out in the next few days. And of course, I'm talking about this gun right here. Over the last few weeks, we've had many names for this thing. Like we started off calling it the Cowinator, then it was the Gravity Gun, Gravy Goblin. But now we know the final actual name and it's called the Gravitron. In today's update, Epic has added all the files needed for the Gravitron to be activated any day now. Leakers have already started to use it and we're expecting it to either come out in a few days or next week at the latest. And I've been so excited to use this thing since I saw it in the Season 7 Battle Pass trailer and it's going to be awesome to finally get our hands on it. Unfortunately though, you won't be able to pick up other players or even wildlife, but you know, hey, we could dream, right? For now, I guess I'll just play with my inflatable, but I'm also excited about what's coming soon because it's time we talk about live events. So this update has added a ton of files which have special event countdowns, brand new UFO assets, and even a new form of abductor with a portal on it. It seems like the special event will be the abduction of Coral Castle, and we have all kinds of leaks. From sounds, countdowns, UFOs, and more strap in. Firstly, this is a render made by GameShed of what the countdown is going to look like using the leaks from today's update. Looks pretty cool. And the special event assets also include a new thing that's called a portal, and you can see this exact thing on a brand new type of abductor. It is really mysterious, and I kind of wonder what it's going to be for, but in all likelihood, we're definitely going to see Coral Castle getting completely abducted in a live event. And some of the evidence for that is, well, I mean, just look at this leak. It's literally a freaky looking abductor that could be seen sucking something up. Some people think it's just a low quality mesh of the abductors, but this could be one of the many abductors that helped the mothership take Coral in a couple weeks. Kinda of funny that we hate a POI so much that Epic would give us a live event purely to destroy it. But heading back to what's actually in game right now, if you go onto the island and look in the sky, you'll actually spot a rainbow yeah, and it looks pretty phenomenal. It's so one of the many things Epic have added in this update to celebrate pride and it's pretty awesome to see. And then other news, zip lines have returned. I know it's not as important as a literal POI destroying live event, but you know, it still made me a little happy. Kinda miss these things. But enough about that because today's update has given us a huge glimpse at what's gonna be coming in the next few weeks. And even beyond that, firstly, one of the most anticipated NT skins in the last year is finally releasing soon, and obviously we're talking about the Ghost and Shadow Henchmen. They are finally becoming skins after over a year, and honestly, what took so long? And while those are awesome, it doesn't really blow us out of the water, which is why Epic are working on a bundle of item shop skins which you can actually wear your wraps with. Finally, we're gonna get some awesome usage out of our wraps. These skins will even work with animated ones, so it's gonna be huge. I mean, fashion shows, pro players, Fortnite photographers, I mean, everyone's gonna love this. But I'm sure someone will find a pay to win combo, there always is. Jokes aside, there's some even cooler skins out there that I cannot wait to get my hands on. The first of these is Gilded Guy, who's an animator on YouTube, and surprisingly, he's not an icon series skin. It's gonna be a regular epic rarity item shop outfit, kinda like this guy. And Gilded Guy's skin just looks so cool, especially with the cape and red sword pickaxe. I mean, I need this set in my life. But there's some even cooler skins that were leaked in the update too, like the Pepper Thorn outfit. She kinda reminds me a lot of Haley Williams, and it sure seems inspired by her. And when people first saw her, they actually guessed that she could be Mary. You know, the person on the radio is ranting about like the aliens and stuff. Well, it's unfortunately not, and I don't know when we'll actually see Mary or Mari. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but still, I'm not complaining that this skin looks awesome, okay? There also there might be a golf related event happening soon because Epic added a ton of golf themed skins into the shop. I mean, just look at this Chad. They're only gonna be uncommon rarities, so it won't cost much.
much, but that back bling looks pretty cool. And skins aside, the leaks are not stopping anytime soon. We have info about a ton of upcoming features and items that are going to shape the future of Season 7 as we know it. So today, Shadow Stones and Shadow Bombs actually received an update, and it added new settings that make it so you can't use them inside a vehicle, and you'll be able to swim faster. So this is pretty much a guarantee that they will be returning to Battle Royale in some sort of way pretty soon, whether it's for Halloween or maybe before that. And they're not the only purple thing returning because that's right, Kevin is coming back. Today new files for Kevin were added back into the game along with a brand new Halloween zombie nicknamed Zigzag. And these are definitely for four nightmares in season eight unless the aliens somehow bring zombies onto the island in the next couple weeks. I mean, then again, this is Fortnite, that could always happen. Moving on, we actually have our first confirmation that Epic is going to be adding a new animal into the game very soon, and rumor has it, it'll be the first ever flying animal ever added. It's codenamed Avian, so we have no idea which animal it will be, but it will likely be able to fly, and if this thing ends up being some kind of like pterodactyl or even a dragon, that'd be pretty freaking cool. I've learned not to get too excited though, because this thing will probably end up just being an annoying bird that just pecks you or something. And speaking of wildlife, if you watched our most recent Scrapped Updates video, you'll know that Epic were once working on a beehive launcher which would send a swarm of bees near any enemy who got close. Well, it turns out the plot thickens because Epic have actually updated the files for the honeycomb consumable in today's update, giving it a whole new animation. And that means that it's not just scrap, but they're still actually working on it, and it could be coming out in the next season or two. And the same thing goes for a feature that we all thought was long gone. Weapon charms were leaked years ago, but it looked like the plan was dead in the water. We all kind of just lost hope about it, but today that has completely changed. A new virus charm was added in the files today, as well as other files relating to charms. So basically, Epic is still hard at work on them, so let's not lose hope just yet. But with those leaks aside, this update has some really awesome new additions to Fortnite that no one is really talking about, so let's cover everything else you need to know. Firstly, Epic is working on a new tab for the Battle Royale Lobby, and it's called the Social Tab. When we first heard that, we thought it would probably be some kind of Twitter thing or a way to see all blog posts, but today, leakers have gotten access to the tab and it has a sick background and mentions live events. So it seems that the social tab will actually be a way for us to view all the upcoming events and things happening in Fortnite and then see which of our friends will be attending, which is pretty cool. And so is the fact that we'll be getting a brand new summer skin. Sure, we've had Jules, Midas, and even Brutus, but one more classic chapter two character is getting the summer treatment. Have you guessed it right? Because it's actually Ripley. Yeah, somehow they're gonna give Ripley his own summer skin. We have a leaked pickaxe from a set called the Aquariax and it's such a cute design. And then when we all gave up and thought Epic had scrapped the idea of a summer Ripley, a leaked texture for his skin was added in today's update. And it's hard to tell what we're looking at here, but it seems like he'll be wearing a pink beach outfit with fish stick plastered all over it. And leakers have even said that he'll be made completely of water and have small fish swimming around inside him. That actually sounds kind of freaky, but hey, if he looks good, I'll definitely be copying it with code T5G. And while the future is promising for Battle Royale, it also is for creative. In today's update, Epic added the UFOs into creative mode, so you'll finally be able to fly around in your favorite map and abduct whoever you want. And speaking of creative, here's the list of upcoming creative LTMs that will be appearing in the next couple of weeks. It includes Pickaxe Frenzy, which will be getting re-added to the game in the next couple of days. And that is literally everything in this week's Fortnite update. Epic are back from vacation and in full swing, so expect a ton to be happening. Are you excited for the Coral Castle live event? Let us know in the comments. I'm definitely excited for my bed, man. It's 7 a.m. here. I'm really tired. I don't know if you guys could tell. But uh, thanks for watching. It's been Tommy and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.